in all earbuds. Are you there? Can you hear me now? I can. Yes. How you doing? Yeah, I just had the wrong uh, mic configured on Discord. <laughs> no worries. No worries. <laughs> it wasn't working. Welcome on. Welcome. So, Earbad. I mean, well known as uh, the free to play hacker, or, or the <laughs> or Mister Free to Play at least. Um, yeah. How's it going for you? How are you finding the free to play challenge so far? I mean, it's, overall, it's been fun. I'd say what I found difficult is it's just so much between work and the main account and and now this challenge account. I've definitely yeah. taken my eye off the ball everywhere <laughs> to a certain degree. But yeah, been... yeah. Have you almost dropped the main account to get this done, or are you like trying to make sure you keep it up? I, I'm keeping would. it up, but I'm definitely not playing it with the same intensity that I normally would. But you know, I'll get the fusion done. I'll get yeah. my Hydra keys done. I've started autoing gold for tag team because it's the only way. <laughs> <laughs> I can't yeah. play it manually anymore. There's no time for that. Just set up no, some AI sure. configs and if it takes half an hour for a battle, so be it. It's just running in the background <laughs> whilst I focus on this. The real account, the one that matters. Yeah. So are you playing this then? Would you say you're playing this as you play your your kind of main account with that same are you, are you going for the same level of efficiency i'm trying to but I, i'm I'm not able to maybe be logged in as much so i'm like it, yeah. it's, it's proving difficult particularly when i'm at work because i only have one phone and two accounts and yeah. it just means there's, there's just no way i can maintain the two accounts whilst I'm there. So I, I try and just sort of switch over, do the clan boss keys, but they're gonna get energy capped and I just can't I just can't deal deal with it basically. Yeah, definitely. Okay, so I, where should we start? I, I see you've got a pretty reasonable stash of shards saved. So yeah. have you pulled any shards at all? Yeah I pulled uh during the two X Ancient where we yeah. first got that. I think had about ten or twelve no twelve. Okay. I had twelve ancients to pull then. Had Better luck than you, but oh, not similar. not the same luck that uh, some of our our competitors have had. Yeah, I'm seeing a miscreate monster who is that's a good pull. I would it is. happily take he's, one of those. He's very strong, uh, and I've pulled a, a frozen banshee, um, nice, which is, yeah. is kind of given me the the poisoner slot, which you've got kale for. Yes, but outside of that, nothing <laughs> really. Are we seeing everything, or have you got stuff hiding away? There, there's stuff okay. in in the vault. Um, I've been kind of managing my food in quite a unusual way at the moment. <laughs> it's all a bit haphazard, but there is method to the madness. Uh, and I'm you'll see there's reserve vault as well because I don't want to spend too much silver or gems opening things up so they're all kind of just hiding in different places yeah. depending on what i'm doing are you just so holding food here for the next champion training like to, you could easily have a whole yes, bunch of four stars and that sort of stuff yeah i i'm i've been ranking up the two stars to 30 uh two stars to three star rather the two star yeah. 20s to to three star but i haven't been doing any of the three star 30s to four star Basically, when we eventually do get a next champion training, it's a bit annoying that this deck of fate is a champion training because it makes me think that maybe we won't get one Might as get soon. One this week. Yeah, and I was kind of hoping because that's how I won the last champion training. Yeah, is I'd saved my uh, six star for the CVC for the champion training that we knew was coming, right. and I just went hard on that first day. I did all the four star forties to five star and got the six star and then was just back in farming more food yeah <laughs> you should see the relentless i got though it's <laughs> i oh, don't think i've just ever before we seen take a, a look worse at that, what's going on with this obsession with graybeard here you got like five copies so that that was why um <laughs> one of your people in chat said i loved graybeard uh yeah, basically i was trying that? to get a copy of spirit host and it took me oh, about right. two thousand energy to get one i got five graybeards and the joke was can i fill up all of the faction guardians with graybeards <laughs> before i get a spirit host brilliant <laughs> <laughs> i finally got one this morning i've been in that inefficient act four for like three days straight Okay, so are you just are you just at that point though where you're constantly food farming? Are you doing anything else with your energy really? Very little outside of that, uh, other than when directed by missions. And I've had like advanced quests telling me to do three three dungeons yeah, a day. So I did a little bit of spider, got up to stage ten on that, and then did Clearing three. 10, eh? 
Oh, well, yeah, just, I, just, I, just I cleared monsters. 10, but it was not fast. It yeah, was not fast at all. For this, isn't he? A nice really five big. minute run. <laughs> not, so, not the, the time you want to spend over and over again. No, um, and I'm not even sure if it would be 100%, to be honest. Oh, really? I, kind of, I, I just don't have a speed booster at all. Yeah. And that's been. I did notice like... that Saf uses or has used Diabolist a bit. I haven't got one yet. Maybe not. No, she she's probably pretty underrated in this early state, you know, in terms of actually coming in and doing a decent job. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I called her out in my in my video yesterday, right. saying that once I've got the Spirit Host and the Heiress, who I finally got both of them today, I can now go to twelve three and basically go and get myself a Diabolist because yeah. I think for that spider and also for other dungeons should be really handy. So how are wow. you doing on Faction this is, Wars? This is crazy. 24 stars. Yeah. <laughs> that's where I've been. That's why I'm so annoyed with Sap. He won't put the Faction War um, Well, it's, it's not he won't. We, it's, <laughs> it's not as easy as we think it is. I, it, it was on my list of things, like Faction War stars and, and Campaign stars, but it's just a harder thing to track down in the code. We will get it. We'll Fair get enough, because that's where I've been. I've been in each day. Yeah. 17 on Bannerlord, 24 on Sacred Order. So, how, who's your team for this then? What's what's going on with that? That's Mostly just Aethel, it's, it's Aethel, hard carrying it. And then, so as I've been making food, I've been making them kind of, I'm already planning what the next faction crypts open are. So I'm making sure my food is ready to be in the faction crypt. And then I'll get rid of them. I'll then, um, you know, feed them after I've got the stars that I need. Yeah. Was, was Talia your... Starter, no, I had Shinuru. I had Shinoru like you. So the two, yeah. the, I I pulled three epics in my in my shards. It was actually quite high luck in that regard. I yeah. pulled Italia. I think the other one's in reserve vault. It's one of the hounds. Can't remember the name oh, yeah, now. Yeah. He's uh, actually and not bad for finite. He's not bad. Yeah, Terror Beast, I think it is. Yeah. And I and and miscreated. And obviously, I started with Shinoru like you, who uh, hasn't found her way into a library yet and never will. Oh, she is she's, just soaking up my books. What an idiot. That's such she, a bad she's so me. disappointing. Very, yeah, I don't know what else to say. She has been my biggest mistake by a long way. By a long way. Because I, I fell into the trap of maybe she gets good with that ascension. Maybe she gets good with the books. Maybe I should take her to 50 and she'll be my spider queen. And... The, st the stupid thing is, like, she hasn't done any of those things. She's still useless. But I still keep thinking in my head, but maybe, maybe at six star. Like, it's just, it's like it's on. It's an ongoing joke now. I've just it, it wasted pretty much so much it, like, into the, pro her. the problem with her is she brings da some damage if you build her for that. Yeah. But she doesn't actually, like, her debuffs she brings aren't that useful. It's too Blo random. Block buffs is okay. The random A2 is annoying and the A3 doesn't have any debuffs. So it's yeah. like, how many pure damage dealers do you need? Particularly when your starter is already yeah, pretty much a pure damage dealer. Yeah. Annoying. <laughs> it's Sorry. by far my biggest regret. <laughs> yeah. If I could just delete her, but it gave me the books back. Even I would happily delete her. Forget that that five star existed. All of that training I put into her, just literally delete her out of the game if they just gave me those books back. I would take that tomorrow. Um, I would take that like that. I yeah. mean, if you look at my gear, it's it's not been great. <laughs> yeah. So you said you got, uh, so you got six star relentless. I did. In that group, crit rate gloves. You got to take that. Pretty bad substats, but you got to take that. They're all overall. Not You're struggling the best. to get a, a set together, aren't you? I'm. I guess you could sneak something together, maybe. But yes. Maybe, but I, not a single yeah. speed substat. And yeah, it's hard. It's hard without it's, any it's, speed at all. It's, it's not great. Yeah. Are you on track, though? Because I'm thinking, I'm in the same boat. I've got like a couple of pieces which might work. And I'm really trying to push for some more. <laughs> I'm trying to win this. But it, I'm, oh, you're third place. Yeah, you're actually in a spot to win it as well. Like, yeah, I'll do what I can. If I can win it, I'd like to. Yeah. I'd nicely get a little bit more, uh, particularly whilst we're in these easier brackets, get as much yeah. as we can. I'm kind of in the worst you, spot. You I'd either like the gems or or the epic relentless. Yeah. There's no point in getting the rare stuff. 
Um, but I think the champion training one's probably the ones that are going to have the most luck early on, probably. Yeah. Particularly if we... I, I don't, don't know how long there. we stay in the right. easier brackets. And what's, what's your plan then for the next few weeks? Because you must see at the moment, your tactics, they're longer term, right? You, you, should, you should fall behind us all with these tactics, pretty much. I think? Yeah, I think so. But not as long as I'm in touching distance, that's fine. Yeah. I, I think Deadwood's going to be the, the one to beat, to be honest, because his champion pulls have been so it's strong. crazy pulls, yeah. That we're going to be struggling. Um, I know Saf's gone out hard to try and click it top the he's, leaderboard he's on like, everything basically yeah. yeah he's tried to like decimate us all in the first week and and has done a good job of it in fairness <laughs> so trying Pretty to much. demoralize everyone so I'm, I'm trying to go the slow and steady route um and just yeah. see basically uh, i'm going to try and get that second six star during the next champion training i should be able to do it i'm undecided yeah. whether it will be frozen banshee or miscreated they both give different Different progression yeah, in different it's areas. One. So it's a tricky. Kind of got clan boss. I guess he can play in clan boss. So it's not a good spot for him, is it? A miscreated. Yeah. So it's it's whether you want that dungeon progression because he can do his job reasonably well actually at five star. That uh, that was kind of my thinking, and and frozen banshee life steal only becomes useful once you hit the six star, and yeah. for her it's very important that she's six star. Yeah. If you want her to be able to solo the, you know, the the dragon, like for instance, so you just get her yeah. to the boss, and then she can take care of herself. That becomes quite important. Yeah, and she's my only real boss killer. I'm kind of a little bit lacking it's, in it's that regard. It's, it's exactly why Hale is my focus, because I'm thinking in exactly the same way. Poison boss killing, and he can do some work on clan boss. So I'm just thinking, I need someone that can do that. Who has got masteries? Who's like six star with masteries? Yeah, exactly. I think what you'll find fun is uh, so I only hit forty today. In fact, about an hour or so before you started your stream. Yeah. And if you look at Doom Tower, Doom Tower, this was hard. Like if oh, you, you think the nice. if you think the seventy stars on on faction wars is impressive, you should go and have a look at some of the f teams I used on those floors, particularly just seven, eight, and nine. They're seven. So that was well, so really tough. hard, wasn't it? It's so seven tough. Really hard. Well, because also look at my champions. Like I don't have levels in them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Level fifteen. <laughs> so if you go sure. on best teams, for instance, because I don't think it it, it will default just to the last team I used. Whereas I actually end up using different teams on every single floor. Oh, okay. Because I had to. Oh, cool. But... Actually, I forgot we could see the rest of the clan in this stuff. So this was yeah, this was my team. You went pure we damage, didn't you? Look at that. Well, I I went pure damage, but with a revive. And basically, it was like I, I I'm not joking. I must have rerun this fifty times because I because it was all negative affinity stuff as well. So I needed the luck of El Hain's double crits, yeah. Kale's crits, and then I I had to choose between Ronda locking somebody out depending on how much damage I've done or going for AOE nuke as well, and then Shinuru nuke. But I couldn't kill everyone because I needed everyone's abilities back for wave two, or I 100% died wave two. It was so hard. So I left a couple of people up. And then, then I was using Demasa as the revive. But I had to do it at exactly the right time so that we, we basically had everyone up and again. alive. It was just a, it was a mess, honestly. A mess. So like, if you scroll down, so for floor seven, it was all about Valerie coming in again. Oh, in really? her shield set. She was the there. Shields. Just uh, gives, you know, a little bit of uh, additional heal she has on the A3 and the, the increased attack on the A2. Yeah. That, that's what worked for me on floor seven. And then on floor eight, I think I used, I can't remember. I, look it's look all, at the difference when you blur. see one here, just throwing in free legendaries and like, yeah, no worries. This was easy. Um, <laughs> oh, of course. Right. And then there's all the deacons. There's just a, a wave of deacons. But again, like, so here I've got the, the level 15 war maiden. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I got to get myself a war maiden. I'm feeling it now. Having no decreased defense is massive when you get a little bit higher. I'm actually impressed. I'm I'm near the top on all of these. What's going on? I felt like I'd done badly, but Pure here DPS. we go again. You win, win fast or die fast. Yeah, it was that. It was just bringing the nukes and hope that it it kind of gets yeah, the job done. It was tough. Like even Miscreated does bring you some control, but he's not. 
ascended fully yet, so he doesn't get the additional continuous heal on himself. Right. War Maiden's not booked out, so not consistent. And yeah, it's it's it just shows that you can even with terrible gear and not not level champions. It is possible. Yeah. And it does it's it's it comes down to actually determination. So some of it's probably not doable, right? But it comes down to determination of how much do you want to do this? <laughs> like, because we can find a way. I, I think I've got to the point now on Scaraboss where I don't think there is a way unless I invest it in a lot of different champs. I, I, I would need to get a Valerie going. I'd need to get an Armager up. I'd need Destroy Gear. Like, there's so much stuff that I don't have right now that I would have to get. So, And I didn't get a Blood Shield for any of the relevant champions in my roster from our Clan v Clan. So it's just yeah. like, I don't feel like we've, it's even in my even in my kind of grasp right now to, to do it. So I've just written it off. We'll see. I mean, I think we've only got two days left or something. In Yeah, that's, that's it. If we had, like, if it was nearer the start, I probably would put more effort. Someone there said, actually, you could use your scrapper, and I could. But we've only a couple of days left. It's still worth it to me. So I'll, I'll see how far I can get. But obviously, I think I'll probably, maybe, I don't even know. I don't even know if I'll be able to get to <laughs> floor 30. <laughs> but we'll yeah, see. Yeah, I think the second boss actually I found quite well, reasonably easy. And the bosses, the bosses actually were fine. It's the waves. The waves of enemies were the tough part, not the bosses. You know, the, the, the floors in between were much tougher for me than the bosses so far. Yeah, definitely. I, th I think so at this at this stage. Like, I, I thought Magma was going to be much harder. I was getting ready to actually gear out one of the grey bids and just go for the 50-50 provoke and yeah. hope. But uh, I just face tanked it. Yeah, <laughs> the, the trouble is, like, with someone like a grey beard, another good champion, you really need to book him out, don't you? If you're not booking him out, then you lose a lot of his benefit. Well, if you want him as a wave clearer, yes. If you just want to use him against Magma Dragon with the A1, oh, that's 50 the provoke. 50 Sorry, provoke, I, I just purely the as a provoke champion, yeah. uh, I thought I could just, you know, wing it, basically. Yeah. How are you getting but on with books and stuff? Have you got. I booked out Miscreated A2 and A3, and I've booked out Aethel and Frozen Banshee so far. Okay. Okay, so that's actually. And... Have you had legendary books? Have you put them into Ronda? No. No. You've not had any yet? I've not had any yet. I guess I must be a bit ahead of you on some I think you're a little bit ahead on, on, on some of the, probably the challenges or something. Yeah. So I think I've got two sitting there, but it feels to me like Ronda's not really worth booking. I don't know. I feel... I'm not in a rush to book her, put it that yeah. way. I think it'll be a case of I'll be saving and if I get enough books that I could fully book her out and I haven't got a single other legendary at that point and there's not one on the horizon. Yeah. Then maybe. Yeah. Oh, it turns out it's the campaign where I got my books. Three books are saying, yeah, that'll be it. So I've got three books sitting there and I'm just kind of like, I can't justify it. Maybe if I'd six starter, I think, um, who's done Ronda? Was it Deadwood's done Ronda with his first one? I think so. I believe he has. Um, the yeah. thing with Ronda is like, I mean, even if you put three books in, what are you going to get? If you're yeah, very you lucky, spread around, you'll get yeah. a cooldown on one. But if you just spread them around, you're not actually really getting any value. You're just getting a little bit more damage on a... Yeah. It doesn't feel like it's going to be worth. So you end up feeling like, well, you're going to commit to the one champion with those three books before you even know if you could book her out fully and you might get something else in the meantime. So I, I'd probably be saving my legendary books until until I pull some better champion or I have enough books that I know I can book them out and get that value. But yeah. I don't know, that's just kind of the way the way I'd play it. And so where are you going with, with the next group of gems then? What's your thoughts around What's your gem mine max? It's not no, I bought the first level and I actually... Same. I actually, so this is why I, I, I think having now played, what, nine days or something we've played now, I think the initial gems should have been just to get to level 35, if not level 40, as quickly as possible. Okay. Unlock tag team, unlock advanced quests, and unlock doom tower. And then past that, finish, you know, getting masteries on, or include getting masteries on, on your starter within that. 
Yeah. And then probably get masteries on the second champion and then worry about the gem mine after that. So you're I in the, that you're in the kind of rush it kind of camp, but also two champions worth of masteries before gem mine, you're thinking. I, I think that would have been better. I've done level one gem mine as well yeah. as you, but I, I think the reality is that you definitely very very early on you want to be getting tag team open and advanced quests open i think those two are so important to open as early as possible why tag team open early what what drex are you, earlier just getting drex yeah and and also uh i think you open it at the same time you open the advanced quest anyway right so you're going to get yeah, the yeah, extra yeah. resources from the advanced quest yeah. and you start getting drex are sooner and if you get a surplus you can buy the energy or the book or the shard so yes the sooner you get advanced quests and tag team open the better and i think the same with doom tower the sooner you can get it open and start farming just getting more stuff aren't you on just a, getting on stuff a, yeah. exactly and then yeah. obviously you need at least one champion mastered maybe you can get away with just one if you're really lucky and you're then able to farm minnow 15 yeah but i think going for the gem mine too early doesn't really give you anything and yeah. I, i've done i've done that mistake myself but i think in retrospect it's not one here it. is saying like already bought the energy from 3v3 today was impatient wanted to farm more i do get this this kind of mentality i so many times but so my clan gold for example is a really good example i see you've not spent any yet i hadn't spent any either until two days ago when i was like sod it i'm just gonna buy the chickens i just want to i want to level quicker and it's probably a mistake, honestly, because it won't be that long until we unlock the ability to buy these accessories, which would be huge. But also this will flip into energy probably next week. We haven't had energy mm. for a while. Uh, Saf said he bought the silver. Like I see, and, but I see you're holding yours. So what's, what's your thing? Well, so this is why I said like before we started that we needed to be in a higher level clan because what I was hoping to buy straight away was your call oh was it hmm that's okay. what i want to be buying why 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 your call because i've actually done quite a bit of content with him recently a few videos yeah. and he can he can boss the game and i think he'd be really strong for free to play so i've given you my uh <laughs> my strategy away well, that's interesting. i don't think I, anyone I think else would have, been, have done it he definitely wouldn't have been on my list at all exactly i think because i see it as such a long way away that's a 20 week investment, isn't it? 20 weeks? It's less than Drexel, isn't it? So. That's about the same. Well, yes. Yeah, so, you, oh, yeah, you get yeah, actually, it's a little bit slower than Drexel. But yeah, so it's, you'd get him about the same time you get Drexel. So with your Carl, I've shown him being a Finite 24 speed farm team. I've shown him in a Dark Fey team. I've shown him in a Spider speed farm team. So, and I think he'd be amazing for Doom Tower waves. So. <laughs> Yeah, 100% I mean, TM steel with the increased speed on himself. It means he cycles really fast, plus the irresistible freeze when they're above 75% turn meter. So like, it's, he's really strong as a yeah. CC champion. And I think him plus Drexar together would be quite disgusting. Yeah, that's a shame because level 9, it, that's a, a reasonable amount of time away, isn't it, for us? Oh, for us, it's going to it's gonna be forever. Like We're only level 2 clan. We'll yeah. probably hit level 3, but it's going to take months before even, we even get to even level nine in the accessories is actually a probably a reasonable amount of time away but this is what i do think should we be looking at just transforming a clan that's a higher level because not exists. having this open is it's yeah, just restricted I guess it's, it's something no we've not spoken about there's no reason why we couldn't do it there's no reason why we couldn't do it if that was part of i guess we'll have a chat see what other people think but i'm i'm easy either way really Saf saying that's not the free to play experience. But how is that be. not the free to? How is that not the free to play experience? You would just join a clan. Like right now, there would be nothing stopping me joining a clan that's a higher level clan. It's whether they would have you, but they with would your kind of easy mode clan boss stuff. <laughs> okay, fairness. so let's just say you could join them in a month's time once you're hitting brutal. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, like, and, you, you and don't again, there's, need... there's no reason why you don't have to be in our clan. You don't have to be in this clan. It's just something we decided to do for a bit of fun so we, we could see what was going on. But there's no reason why you'd have to stay here. That's not the free-to-play experience. If if nobody in our clan was hitting Ultra Nightmare and I could free-key Ultra Nightmare, I would move. Fact. 
I don't care what, what we're doing here, I would move because that would be a stupid thing to do to well, stay exactly. in this clan. So, so the, the real free to play experience is in fact that you do the best thing for your own account at any point in time. That that is you have to optimize every opportunity and every scenario. And this yeah. idea yeah, the only bad you thing I think with join that is... a level nine clan as a new account is laughable because there's loads of like new there's loads of old clans that exist that do nothing but exist because they've been around for a couple of years and already like level 10 to 15 but they're all yeah. just full of new people so it's not really that like level 10 is an advanced clan that's only hitting you know nightmare and ultra nightmare kind of thing it's that's not the way the game is yeah true i guess i guess last question then like now that we've played for I don't know how long we played, 10 days or something, is, is it what you were expected it to be, this kind of free-to-play challenge? Is, is it what you'd hoped it would be, what you expected it to be? And I guess, would you do anything different if you went back and went for it again? I mean, it's exactly what I expected it would be. <laughs> I've done it all before. It, it's yeah, but I mean, in, in the... terms of like, we're, we're now in almost more of a competition mode rather yeah, than just... Yeah, it's, it's, it's different in that regards because the way I've always explained if you want to have an enjoyable free-to-play experience is that you should only be competing against yourself. Yeah. Because as soon as you start competing against other people directly, yes. you're only ever going to be disappointed. These that you're not getting the gear they get, that you're not getting the champions they got. It's that level of comparison that makes free to play unenjoyable. At yeah, least these until you're the are one actually that... a nightmare for me personally. Exactly. I hate these scoreboards right now because I know I, I'm in fact completely switched off to them. I have to be because I cannot stand seeing myself so low on these scoreboards. And I wanna put I wanna burn energy in areas i want to be burning energy in ice golem and <laughs> and the keeps and stuff because I, I hate being so low but also there's zero reason for me to be in there right now it's um yeah, exactly it's, you, you, you'd be oh. hurting yourself in the long run to go and spend a load of energy yeah. inefficiently at this point that, that's that's how but, i feel but i did i think for the long-term enjoyment of this challenge these scoreboards are going to be very fun but right now they're hard to deal with. <laughs> yeah, hard, and I, I think take. once we're probably two to three weeks in, we'll probably be in a better position to be progressing more into dungeons. Yeah, but I think we really need two or three six stars. That's when the game really kind of opens up and becomes kind of more interesting. Yeah, definitely. That exactly right. I, I feel like until you've got at least two, it's it's tough. It's tough to really do anything properly. You're one of only three people that have even cleared stage 10 spider right now. Oh, really? Is, yeah. I guess it shows that some people have pushed some dungeons. Has anyone done, I guess we will see Sand Devil. I'm interested if anyone's done Sand Devil at all. <laughs> Should I have start Sand Devil stage one and see if anyone's hit it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, anyway, man, thank you for coming on. Thanks for sharing your experience so far. And I guess, yeah, we'll do a catch up in a, a week or two and see how you're getting on with it. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Cool. Thank you, man. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for having me. Enjoy the rest of your stream. Cheers.